I really had two thoughts about putting this video out. I was so excited after lockdown to finally get out with the mud truck, hit some proper swamps, two friends coming along that have built one as well. And I can't lie, it was a total fail, you'll see. Um, but I thought, we're here building these custom trucks, pushing them outside of what they're supposed to do. We don't have the aftermarket parts support in the UK for specific mud bog bits. And part of what I enjoy is trial and error. You go out, something breaks, you come back, you figure out how to make it better. I mean, the first time I took this out as a limo, it wouldn't stop wheeling in. So I fixed that. The second time I fixed another problem. Uh, last time out, it ran through an entire battery with no issues at all. So once we get them nailed, they'd be brilliant. But I thought it was only a shakedown anyway. It's not a showcase. It's all part of the journey. Have a laugh at my expense. And as usual, once everyone else went home, this thing was brilliant anyway. It broke in like two seconds and then ran perfectly when there was no one to see it. But yeah, she worked fine. She's being torn down. All of this is for the mud truck, slipper clutch, gears, hardened thingy bobs, motor, ESC. It's getting thrown at it. And I'm pretty sure next time out, it is going to annihilate the bogs alongside someone else. So anyway, this is going to be the last badly edited phone only lockdown video in a while, because now I can go meet Paul again with his GoPro and his laptop and his swanky editing. So yeah, just deal with it, grit your teeth, try and enjoy it, and next time hopefully it'll really give you something to go, oh, that looks cool. But yeah, this didn't really. Right, we're finally out with the UKRC mud bog in trucks, the first uh, three that have made build. So we've got Swamp Donkey, Red Mist, and Chicken to Nine. We'll show you why that's got that name in a minute. So Swamp Donkey started life as a FTX Canyon. It's now got a 6S system and a belt drive in it. We'll show you that in a minute. My Red Mist is an Outback Fury crawler. We put a 3660 KV brushless setup in it. And this one is now 3S brushless, it's an Axial SCX-10 with some mega leads which we'll take a close look at now. And then we've got this lovely terrain here for our first, uh, first trial run in the proper swamps. So here's Swamp Donkey, based on an FTX Canyon, looking very cool with its GP shell. Thank you. And in here you'll find a mental 6S system. This should have no trouble at all with these paddle tires. And we've got my truck, which is Red Mist, an Outback Fury, the all the added power of a Bluetooth supercharger. Running on the big tire setup today, which are some Helion Monster Truck wheels. Very, very dishy. And a cheeky k &N sticker to block up the vent hole. We got a 3S system in there and a little ghetto mud guard. Uh, the only difference from last time is I've lowered it a little bit to help with the wheelies. And then finally, Chicken Tonight. Oh, I don't know if you can see the Chinglish on the wheels. Chicken Tonight. Really? But yeah, again, a cool looking axial based rig. Now got some tasty Hobby Wing electronics in there. Decent looking centre of gravity by the look of things. And these wheels are awesome. 2.2s. They are going to really tear up the dirt. So yeah, action soon. Now Swamp Donkey did try and come on a crawl with us. Uh, we did a trail run with the usual crawlers. It did get to test its metal in this bog, as you see. But not long after this tumble, something went a bit awry with the steering and the whole rig became a bit juddery. So unfortunately, before we hit the bogs, its day was done. Cool, so we're here at the mud bog. We've got all our spectators lined up from our trail run this morning and we're about to run Red Mist and Chicken Tonight and possibly Swamp Donkey. We'll see, it's a little bit broken. 
It's on the big side. Yeah. Oh, that didn't last long, did it? <laughs> Second run and something stopped already. Not the motor. If it's Well, that was successful. It was a bit of a blow to have a part fail this quickly in the run, but I decided to throw everything I had at it to get it working. I'd waited months of lockdown and I wasn't going to let my day end like this. The people that had bought kids with them were starting to get tired and most of them had to head home, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to fix it and uh, enjoy the rest of my day. So I soon found the issue. Well, unluckily, oh. the gears are spinning without the nut. So I can try and replace that quick. It did a whole 20 minute run. We finally get it to the bogs and it died first go. <laughs> okay, so we found the issue. I haven't run it with the big tire setup before with this much power. And what's happened is in the middle of the spur gear, it's just rounded out that. That fits onto the gear shaft there. I was worried something had broken. So I've got a spare. We might just have to ease into the throttle a little bit so you can see that. That's supposed to be slotted. That one is round. So we're gonna swap it over and get back to it. Slight update, I remember on this adapter that I need to swap to, has got like some knobbles, so I had to make some really ghetto holes. So we're gonna be going to a gearing change. It'll be a little bit slower wheel speed, but I can't put that onto there because of those. Oh well. While I was fixing my truck, Chicken's Night was bombing around in the background. This thing is so fast it basically skims the swamps. But at the end of this clip, as it tips over you hear a big click and that was a hex pin snapping. Would be a simple fix if we bought the right size wheel nut spanner. So that was the end of its day as well. I will admit we had a little bit of a disaster. I've not run it in the sticky stuff with these on before and they got a lot of drag. So when we flew down into there, the wheels basically stopped moving, the motor shaft was turning and it rounded the gears out. So done our field fix with my trusty backpack. It's got a whole new gear ratio on now just to make it fit. We just want to get in there, maybe not enter at full speed, just get some good footage. Again, these are all custom builds. It's not something we've got parts for over here. Just see how it does and uh, we know we got to build a custom one of those in the future out of metal. Got Creighton bimbling around in the background there. Right, let's get going. <laughs> Typical once everyone leaves it starts working well. I love it. So after I'd got the gearbox back together with the new gear adapter on, I set out and hit the mud and gave it everything I got and, and typically after everyone had left it behaved perfectly. The wheelies were tamed down, nothing else broke, it just ran and ran. Man, after six months of not being allowed out of the house, it felt good to be tearing up that swamp. I mean, ideally we would have been running together, we could have tried drags, we could have done a bit of freestyle, but this just shows it works and it's part of building a custom rig. Until you break things, you don't know what you need to strengthen, but here's a bit of footage. It, it was just fun, and it, it made the journey worth it. Great success, my shiny red truck is now how a mud truck should look. Look at that. Love it.
That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> if it kept going, it's perfect now. Right, I think we're calling it there for the day. It works. We know something we got to make. My tripod's covered in mud and it all stinks of crap. Happy days. So we've learned from today that prop shafts really like to collect weeds and we need a stronger uh, gear to gear shaft adapter. The non-waterproof electrics definitely aren't, but we've got a Max 6 to put in there for the minute. Uh, motor should be okay, it's probably the ESC. Other than that, beautiful.